Alright guys, Rich here from the RCNetwork.com and welcome to another episode of Tool Tuesday. Now this week we check out the J Concepts Aluminum Ride Height Gauge. Now this thing is adjustable anywhere from 10 to 40 millimeters. It includes a case, it has black anodized aluminum, and this thing is just cool. So here's a quick model number for you guys. I will have a link in the video description so you can check it out for yourself. But 2282-2, uh, you can get this in either black like I chose or uh, a team associated blue color, which is pretty nice too. So, uh, but right here, here it is. It comes in its own kind of carrying case. And uh, what I like about this thing is it actually has a cutout for J Concepts, um, uh, camber gauge and also their turnbuckle wrench, which is nice too. So if you happen to purchase those, you can get it all in one case and kind of slim down your, your pit bag. So, but inside here, let's take a look at this thing. This is nice. I mean, it's all aluminum, anodized black, uh, just super, super nice item here. You can tell you're looking at a, a quality instrument uh, to measure your ride height. So like I said earlier, adjustable anywhere from 40 uh, millimeters down to 10. So this is going to cover pretty much all of your even some of your mini vehicles, but definitely your one tenth scale all the way to one eighth scale and maybe even a little bit beyond that. So, um, but very, very nice. I love the aluminum construction. You have this kind of knurled uh, adjuster right here that's also aluminum. Uh, it rides all on a one pivot joint. And, uh, and what I really like is the chamfered edges. It just gives that that note of, of a quality item there. So. Quick look on the back side, still same aluminum construction, chamfered edges, and I mean, just a quality item. So how do you set your ride height? Uh, let's check it out on my Team Associated B6D over there. All right, so setting ride height is actually pretty easy. You need to make sure you have two things on hand. The first thing is you need your vehicle needs to be fully equipped, so your battery, body, everything needs to be in it. You need to have a good flat surface uh, to do this on, and then definitely check your owner's manual or your setup guide to see what is a recommended ride height to run at. So um, all you have to do after that is just go ahead and grab your vehicle, take it up to about a foot, foot and a half, drop it, Make sure it is in its resting position. I have mine set right here for 22 millimeters and you wanna take a measurement here at the front and also on the rear to make sure that you're not touching anywhere on the chassis. So it should have a, a pretty snug fit. If you need to adjust anything, you just go ahead and take the knurled adjusters on your shocks or if you're using any type of clips, go ahead and add or subtract those. And then you just adjust it down to where you have the right height. So, well guys, that is it for this week's Tool Tuesday. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I'm off to the next one. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.